I'm Alec Hogg from Davos, Davos Diary Day 5. Well, this is the last day for the World Economic Forum's 2016 meeting, the 46th that they had. And what's the summary? What's the takeaways from it? Well, uh, China is under pressure, that we know. Uh, Europe is not moving in the right direction. They do have some concerns about the immigration that is continuing there. So a little bit of trouble in that part of the world as well. Uh, the markets have had their worst start ever to a year in 2016. Uh, the prices of, of assets have fallen. The U.S. is going to be raising interest rates. So you hear all of that and you think, my goodness, what kind of a world are we going to be seeing for the rest of the year? But it isn't that bad, uh, although the International Monetary Fund has reduced its forecast of world economic growth. Um, down to 3.4%. That's still better than last year at 3.1%. There are certain parts of the world that are doing okay. Uh, South Africa is not one of them. Uh, South Africa has its own issues, as we are very well aware. Politically, economically, structurally, there are many issues that need to be addressed. And perhaps that's the biggest takeaway from divorce this year. When you consider that there were good times, and in the good times, the countries that used them wisely like some of the oil producing countries, put money aside, they are going to be able to look after themselves far better in the bad times. But those countries that wasted the boom, as the World Economic Forum uh, chief economist Jennifer Blanca told us today, are in for a very tough ride. They better start restructuring, they better start focusing on doing the right stuff economically, or they're going to reap the whirlwind. I'm afraid South Africa does fall into that category. We need to see some action. I'm sure from what we heard from Pravin Gordon, though, it's likely to occur. So I leave here with a smile on my face. But then what's, what is life worth living if you don't have that uh, ability to show your pearly whites every now and then? Alec Hogg with Davos Diary, Day 5.